Good evening. First tonight, as the sun went down over hot springs this evening, the winds died down as well, and the air tankers and firefighters made good progress against the fast-growing wildfire. This fire is now nearly 470 acres with 5% containment. Tonight, residents are returning home after being evacuated earlier today. The area you see in red was the latest evacuation zone. More than 100 homes were evacuated in the southern Black Hills town. Officials are telling residents to keep their bags packed as the situation is rapidly changing. About 330 homes are in the pre-evacuation area, which means they have to be ready to leave at a moment's notice. The Red Cross shelter at the Mueller Center will remain open tonight. At a meeting for residents this evening, officials told people that fires typically die down during the nighttime hours and firefighters expect the vineyard fire will do the same. The firefighters warned that the residents returning home that the fire is not close to being contained or under control and that they can expect a repeat of today's evacuations if conditions are the same as today. Even with that warning, many residents say they're relieved to be going home after as long as 24 hours away. I'm, I'm feeling relieved and anxious at the same time to, to see exactly what the house looks like because I'm in the area where those fingers were coming down. Well, we're really glad, my wife and I, that we can go back home. Problem is we have guests and they're out of town, so we have to get a hold of them. The incident manager tells Kelloland News he hopes the air tankers and helicopters will be available to fight the fire again tomorrow but that they are in high demand with the numbers of fires currently being burning in the West. The air support was out in full force today. Kelloland's Al Van Z has a look at how the hot and windy conditions made the fire fight difficult. The vineyard fire is now right at the edge of several residential areas on the east side of Hot Springs. The fire is running roughly parallel to Highway 385 in the rugged area that leads up to Battle Mountain. Helicopters and air tankers, including one jet transport, have been making drops on the fire all morning, but the fire has been moving steadily to the west-northwest. Evacuees have been offered a place to take refuge at the Mueller Center in Hot Springs, and the American Red Cross has moved in food, water, and cots. We've opened up a shelter, so we're giving people a place to come and stay. We're providing meals. Um, they can come and stay overnight. We'll open up a shelter so they got a comfortable place to stay where it's cool, can get out of the heat, uh, close to where their fire's at. So we know that they're safe and then they can, we can take care of their, their basic needs. The steep hillsides running along the highway have offered firefighters little opportunity to put in hand lines or dozer lines, but they have been constructed where possible. One such place is around a communication tower at the top of the ridge. Fire trucks and personnel have also been stationed at key locations near homes immediately threatened. And so the objective for these firefighters right now is to protect as many of these homes as possible and to prevent the fire from going further into the town of Hot Springs. Temperatures are hot and a stiff wind has been blowing out of the southeast, which is not making things easier for firefighters. In Hot Springs, Al Van Z, Kelloland News. Now, if the wind continues to blow from the southeast tomorrow and if it stays hot, the same areas of the city will remain at risk. A type 2 incident management team is being brought in and will take over management of the fire tomorrow. In the meantime, here's what's happening tonight. Uh, we've got helicopters, uh, single engine air tankers, and then we have the big heavy jet that are, that are doing a lot of dropping on that fire. Those resources will leave when it gets to be dark. And at that point in time, we'll be doing primarily structure protection in the defensive mode. And we will continue to follow this story on air and online.